If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Coins are currently discounted, guys. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Head on over, use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going with the best budget beast in Madden 21. Now, I did do this video when the game had just released with all the day one budget type cards. We've gotten a lot of stuff since, especially new promos like Kickoff, Superstar MVP, and a few other things that have increased the likelihood of getting some good budget legends now. Let's head on over to the uh, auction block to go through the list, of course, because as you guys do know, this list can take a little bit if we don't get right into it. Now, guys, in terms of today's shout-out for the Poodle Squad, as you guys do know, if you want to be entered to get shouted out, all you got to do is like the video, turn that post notification bell next to the sub button, and comment down below Poodle Squad. Just do all those things you're entered to win, or should I should say, enter to be shouted out. Now, for today, I'm going to be shouting out JBA Plays 5. Thank you for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you for showing support each day. Thank you so much, guys. And you guys know the drill. Make sure to subscribe. Join the Poodle Squad. Now, let's get into the video. So, guys, in terms of budget piece, here's the thing. Here is my 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 criteria they typically have to be fast because like i always tell you guys on a budget team you can't get it's hard to get well-rounded players aren't going to do good in the budget squad and it's simple there's a simple reason why well-rounded players at low overalls that are budgety are slow they're decent at everything but good teams you're going to go up against you can't do anything you're gonna have, you need speed more than likely to go ahead and actually contest um, good opponents at least with like a good opponent no matter how good they are if you're fast they can, you can still get around them but a slow guy you shouldn't get killed all game now first guy on the list cam acres coming in number 10 now these are no specific order i just do them out of numbers so that it could be easier for me to go through cam acres if you guys haven't seen him i've seen top overall rated teams come out with cam makers and weekend league he's a great great option 88 speed 91 excel 89 agility 80 to change of direction that's all you need to know he's like baby work done super super fast now if only he could be powered up that'd be nice but he cannot but 88 speed for a budgety back is going to get the job done especially against teams that aren't all that now a great team still as long as you create holes for him now now that's where i recommend like you have a uh offensive line a little bit because a great team of good pass rush probably gonna probably gonna destroy you a little bit but coming up next on the list guys at number nine one of the guys i was talking about who just got a new card is robbie anderson kickoff card he's gonna be your budgety esque tyree kill 89 speed and not to mention he's tall he's six foot three so he's six foot three 89 speed 81 jumping 83 catching 80 catch in traffic, 84 spec catch, 79 short route running, 81 medium route running, and 83 deep route running. Card overall is super well-rounded while also maintaining high speed. That's the thing. Some cards will be well-rounded like a Devontae Adams, but being super slow. So super well-rounded, can decent, almost 80s across the board with the high speed. That's going to be able to make burner plays, which is super important, guys, in my opinion. Now, the next on list, someone that I actually rock with on my weekend league starting team, and that's going to show you how good and budget he is. If I can start him on weekend league and he does the job, Jonah Smith. I can't say much more about him, guys. This guy is phenomenal. He does the job. 85 speed at tight end right now is huge. Guys like Tony Gonzalez have an 83. Um, Kittle have like an 82. All these guys have low, low speeds. Gronk is like an 80, 81. This guy has 80 short route running, 80 spec, 81 catch traffic, 84 catching, 85 speed. And right now, with the way we play, the way this game does play, tight ends just are kind of open all the time. So if I get a Tony Gonzalez open, I don't benefit from his great catching or his route running as much as I like open I'm talking about. If he's open and he's in space, what I'm only going to benefit is his ability to cut it up field and run. He's not going to get too far. Jonah Smith will get pretty far with the 85 speed. And of course, the only time that uh, Tony Gonzalez will be better is in, like a heavy man scheme or a guy that knows how to cover a tight end, which again, I have not seen so many people cover the tight end that well to start this year. Coming at number seven, this guy a lot of you guys may have by default as a rookie premiere, and that'd be great if you do. Where is he? Scrolling down. Patrick Queen, rookie for the Baltimore Ravens right here. If you have Mr. Kamir, that's great. If not, you can always pick up this 81 for a super cheap price. 86 speed, 87 excel, 81 tackle, 82 player rec. Right there. That's all you need to know for him as well. Going to get top speed and top excels in the game for a defensive player in terms of linebacking. Also, get the hip power, which is important because when you use it, you typically get into... You get, you're, you're in position for a lot of great tackles, a lot of over-the-middle cracks, uh, side blindsiding a running back. Like you're always in those positions, so a good hip power does lead to a lot of big plays at that position. Now, we have to toss a quarterback on here, guys, because we typically don't put quarterbacks in here. So, I figured it was time to toss one in, and I really do like this one, despite my Giants bias. Daniel Jones is a great, great budgety option with his, uh, I believe it's a team builder. Where is it? It's down here somewhere. Daniel Jones is super well-rounded while also having good throw power. 81 speed, 87 throw power, 83 short, a 79 mid, 79 deep, 78 throw under pressure, 76 on the run, 80 play action. Now, He's going to be the only quarterback that's mobile with good throw power that with chems can get you up to about 80s across the board. Uh, guys like Kyler Murray will be faster, but quite literally hits at not one singular threshold. 
Daniel Jones can hit the short. And that's the thing, with a budgety team too, you're probably not going deep too much. You're probably focusing on shorts, drag, drags to Robbie Anderson, cut it up field. Because deep play zones are going to kill you. Accuracy is going to kill you. It's going to be tough. So, in terms of a budget team, I think like you'll really get it done with Daniel Jones. And that throw power is going to be huge because a lot of budget quarterbacks don't have throw power. But I think he's pretty good. Now, this next guy is going to be, he's, he's, he's always known as a budget beast in franchise mode, in regs, uh, just in Madden in general. This guy is super fast. And that's Troy Akpi, free safety. He did get a superstar MVP card, which means he does come with a pre built in ability, which I believe is, let's see, uh, ooh, I think it's Zone Hawk, something like that. Attributes 90 speed, 91 XL. Again, all you know if you're going to use her, he's a user safety. Now, would I leave him alone? Maybe. I mean, depends on how your team play your defense, but I think he's a user safety. Run big nickel, put him as your nickel corner. User, 90 speed user. Going to be like a baby Isaiah Simmons in that, in that aspect. The next guy is super, super good. Specifically because he also just got an upgrade guy. So there's a lot you can do with this card. And that's Denzel Ward. Denzel Ward at cornerback is one of the best cornerbacks in the game right now with that LTD. He just got. And the beauty of him is he only costs you, let's see, 15k. Plus, if you can get his power, which is super expensive right now. But if you had it and you had him powered up, you can power him up all the way to an 88, I believe. Because his LTD is a 90. So you can get him up to an 88, which is super good while still maintaining the budget you feel. Unless, you know, you throw the power up. But he has 88 speed, 88 excel, 86 agility. 84 jumping and then of course the coverage isn't great but it's the speed that you really care about and of course you can power him up all the way he'll probably get into a pretty decent pretty decent style pretty decent stat wise i mean for the most part next we got number three shout out to someone on twitter who did dm me this one and told me to add him to the list and i did really like him that's darnell savage rookie for the packers last year he does have a pre-built in ability as well let's see what he's rocking with here uh down oh well avalanche i, I keep calling them abilities i'm pretty sure those are x factors Downhill, hit sticks, force fumbles, which is Avalanche. He got 89 speed, 87 excel, 80 hit power. So he's kind of like Troy Akpi, but probably even a better user per se because he has one less speed, some less excel, but he has a way better hit power. So, I mean, if you're just looking for picks and deep usering, Troy Akpi, if you're looking to be more in the box, a box presence and forcing fumbles, Darnell Savage is definitely your guy. And this next guy, again, another budget guy that actually started my weekend league team at middle linebacker, did drop with the Super Sun MVP promo, and that is Devin Bush, who I've had now two years in a row. Him and Shazier have been like staples on my team for the last few years. Well, him last year, Shazier the last two or three years. So Devin Bush, 86 speed, 87 excel, 85 hit power, 82 tackle. So he's going to be a slightly better Patrick Queen per se. And he has abilities, as well. his abilities which are going to be the difference. He does have avalanche and uh, an ability that I really didn't think doesn't matter. Yeah, reduce zone objectives in home stadiums, not a big deal. Now, the biggest difference is height. You're going to have to compare Devin Bush and Queen's height. But for the most part, Bush is the better player. Queen may have the better intangibles per se. And then the final one is going to be, which I had on my last list as well. I think he's one of the few guys that actually stayed on both lists. Him, Trey Waynes, and maybe one other guy. And that's going to be Trey Waynes. Now, Trey Waynes, 44K. Great, great cornerback option. He gets 90 speed, 88 excel, 82 agility, 84 jumping. And then high 70s across the board coverage-wise. But again, with locked in, get him to like an 80 man. Now, that's all you need. 80 man, 80 press. With that speed, you're going to be able to pretty much make him a very very solid uh, budget player and I, I play people on weekend league he may not cover me the best but i promise you if i break a run with bo jackson trey wins would chase me he does great cutoff he, cu he, cu he cuts off my runs because he's so fast so he's like a he's a useful tackler on defense he may get trucked but he'll slow a play down he stops big plays from happening guys right, so that is about it for the video that does wrap up the entire list so we do have 10 i will recap them for you guys real quick get cam makers robbie anderson jonu smith patrick queen daniel jones troy Akpi, denzel ward savage darnell savage uh devin bush and trey waynes now my personal favorites on this list like i said that i started is devin bush and i do start jonah smith those are the ones that can play for me specifically k makers would be a good backup trey, trey waynes would be like a good third or fourth to put in like a, like a nickel spot and then of course darnell savage is great the only issue is going to be that of course i do have isaiah simmons and i do have uh tyron matthew so i don't i wouldn't be able to really use him too much but again still great for our best for the more budget teams now guys before we get out of this video if you want to join the poodle squad don't forget turn that noti bell notification bell right next to the subscribe button, like the video, and make sure to go down below and comment down below Poodle Squad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. Thank you for watching.
I'm out. Peace.